Hey guys, so um, I just got done with a session that was kind of life changing for me. And I know say, I say that a lot, but I wanna get a little bit personal for a minute here. Um, don't judge me, because I hope that other people, um, I, I know that other people have gone through this as well. And so I'm hoping that if I share my experience, that, um, that it'll help other people who are going through this too. So um, I suffer from anxiety and depression. Um, and, and it's not as bad as, you know, those people who can't, um, get out of bed in the morning or things like that. Uh, although sometimes I've had those mornings, <laughs> um, but, um, it, it's hard to talk about because of the fact that, um, cause I didn't want to admit it and it actually came up in a different way for me than I had expected it to come up. See, I get so, um, nervous that I'm going to get sick because I hate being sick, that I will actually make myself sick, which is so stupid and it's frustrating. And I just realized a couple of months ago that that's anxiety. Um, but but I, I decided, because I had two days of anxiety where I barely could eat anything and I was sicker than a dog and it was keeping me from doing things that I wanted to do. Um, and I felt like it was gonna last forever and that I didn't have any options and it just sucked. <laughs> and so I got to the point where I finally realized that I, um, it's brave for me to say this, uh, I, I decided to go to counseling um, because I didn't know what else to do. And, and as I was going through counseling, I realized how many concepts that I've been able to realize in counseling have tied to coaching, um, which is why I absolutely love coaching. Um, but one thing that really stood out to me is that when I get in that anxiety mode or that depressed mode, you know, especially when you feel like you've just fallen into a pit of despair and you don't have any options and there's no way out and you don't know how long you're going to stay there. And then you start thinking, okay, well, what if I stay there all day or all week or all month or year? What do, you know, what do I do? Um, and it's crazy because Satan wants us to to believe that. He wants us to believe that we don't have any options and that we're at the whim of our emotions and our feelings and our circumstances. And the reason why he wants us to believe that is because when we believe that, we really don't have options because we don't take action. And and it's sad because he, he wins because of the fact that we um, don't take advantage of the agency that we have, this wonderful gift from Christ that we've been given of agency. And, and so I realized that I kind of started spiraling in this anxiety and this depression. And so I kind of, I stopped that and I went to counseling and I realized the truth about myself through both counseling and coaching is that I am a daughter of God. And I believe that to my very, very core. And because I'm a daughter of God, and because you're a daughter or son of God as well, we are creators because Heavenly Father is a creator. And the truth is, is that because we are creators and we have agency, we are able to create our own experiences. We not, may not be able to control our circumstances, but we can control how we react to those experiences and those things that happen in our life. Because if we don't control them, our emotions and our feelings and our thoughts, then we're at the whim of essentially Satan or what I like to call our inner dream stealer. And that's a scary place to be because he wants you to believe you don't have options and that there's no way out and that you're stuck. Man, how many times in life have you felt stuck? And we don't want to stay there because that's where we don't take action and we don't get anywhere. And so it's really, really important for us to remember our agency and to choose to take action and to choose to believe that we can choose because that's the agency that we have. So I was just realizing today that that's my truth, is that I am a creator because I'm a daughter of God, and I can create my own circumstances. And the greatest thing about that is that anxiety and depression really lose their pull on me and their power in my life because, yeah, I may get on the plane and have a little bit of a stomach ache, 
But what happened when I was really anxiety ridden is that I would focus on that fear and I would think, how long is this going to last? And then I'd start spiraling and my stomach ache would get worse and then I couldn't eat that day. But the thing is, is I can stop it right then and there. I may not be able to stop having a stomach ache for just that couple of minutes, but I don't have to focus on it. And I can choose to believe that I am a creator and I am powerful and that I can take control of my own body. And so... I hope this helps. I don't know if anybody else out there um, has anxiety or depression. Um, even if it's little or big, I think we all go through the same thing, is that we need to remember that we have agency and that we can take advantage of that agency and create the experiences that we want. We can choose to have joy instead of anxiety. We can choose to have peace instead of discouragement. Um, and it's really just simply choosing that. Um, so just something to think about. Uh, I know that that was something that was definitely on my mind today. Um, so I hope that this has helped. And if you would like more videos like this, uh, go ahead and go to lastingempowerment.com. Thanks guys for watching and I hope you have a great day.